Pride. It's your boy Amari back again with another reaction video. Today we are getting into another Patreon picks. This video is Mamamoo's Immortal Songs Medley, which I've been told is a medley of songs that they performed on a show called Immortal Songs, which I guess got them a lot of notoriety because of their great ability to sing. So I'm super excited to get into this. Hopefully you guys are having a great day and I will be seeing all of you guys on the other side. Okay, so these songs are covers, right? These aren't their songs. These are other artists' songs that they're doing, I think. And so I'm curious, are these other girl groups songs that they're doing? Are these other Korean pop stars or Western artist songs translated, maybe Japanese artists? I'm just curious on some of the background on some of these songs. <laughs> Okay, I, I haven't I haven't said anything because I've just been, you know. Your boy been caught up, okay? Like Usher. I've just been I just been caught up. Wow. Wow. I know how great of singers they are at this point, but still, you know, like it's it's, it's like uh, it's like watching Messi play soccer or football, you know, for my non Americans for literally the rest of the world. But anyway, it's never it's it's never not dope, you know? It's never like, eh, I've seen this already. That's that's no longer cool. No, they're amazing. All the time. It's it's great. Their harmonies are are fire. Like it's dog. It's 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 so good. They had a four part harmony there, uh, where Moon Buell jumped in like right after her super passionate uh, talk rap sec I had no idea what was going on there, by the way. Like it I didn't know if they were changing songs. Or what and then um, they had uh, was was it We In and Solar? I, I don't know. It was We In and someone else who also came in and started doing uh, backing ad libs 
section. There was like another vocal section that was happening, but it was like equally as loud as Moon Boo. I got really confused there for a second. I'm not even gonna lie. And then I got really drawn into the passion of what she was saying. I had no idea what she was saying, but it was intense. So it was, it was very captivating. Then like right after that, they had a really great four part harmony that was, it's very good. It was, it was really good. I hate whoever's doing the lights on this though. They're, they're super annoying because they're not at all in sync with the cameraman. So they're like only, they're doing a spotlight. The issue is like two, three or four of them will be singing or performing at that given time. The cameraman is doing a pretty decent job. Camera woman, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not assuming the gender of the camera person. It's just the phrase. Okay, okay. So the camera person is doing a very good job of tracking what's going on, but they're also tracking the fact that the lights person is not on it. They're not. They, I don't know how much they're getting paid, but me and them need to talk because I don't want to see people in the dark singing. That's no, 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 don't do that. Just leave all four of the lights on the whole time if that's the case. Like, I'd... Anyway, rant over. They sound really good. I think I've said enough. I don't have to say anything, we're just going back. Shut up. Okay, one more time. One more time. One, one more time. For Moon Buell's sections, I don't know if she is like setting up the next because I don't know what she's saying, so like I don't know what's going on in that particular section. They cut out all the music and what she was saying was still rhythmic enough to have been, it was like rhythmic talking. So it was, I was counting in my head and it was still on beat, but it, it didn't seem like she was rapping. Maybe she's just so rhythmic that like her talking is still on beat. That would actually be super fire. That would that would be so cool. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if she's setting up the next songs, if she is rapping a verse from the song, if she's adding her own verse to the song. I don't I don't know what's happening in her sections, but they're all so intense that it's just like it's like um I don't know what that sample comes from, but in Niggas in Paris, where the section Kanye's verse where they're like uh, what does that even mean? I don't know, but it's provocative. It gets the people going. Like, that's, that, that's how I feel about what she's doing right now. I have no idea what's going on during her sections, but I'm like, you go, girl. Yeah, tell them whatever you're telling them. Tell them some more. Do it. Oh, that's not even why I stopped this. That, see, that's how pro, can't even talk right now. I can't even English when she's doing that. That's, that's, that's what's happening. That's, that's how I'm feeling. Anyway, back to my point. I really like the fact that you can so tell that this is live. Like you, it's so apparent that this is um, not pre-recorded audio. It's just them singing, which is, it's, it's almost obscene. It's disgusting how good it sounds given that this is all live. But um, there are small indications in the tone of their voices, uh, the way in which their breathing is not specifically, um, some, okay, sometimes you can tell when 
someone is being tuned live, which is a thing, yes, that does happen, by the way that they're breathing, the way it sounds, like it doesn't, people don't breathe on key. Let me, let me put it that way. And so if you're listening to an artist and their breaths are on key while they're performing, there's a good chance that something's going on there. You know, between the, the sounds coming out their mouth and the sound that you're hearing out the speaker, some stuff happening in there, okay? Let me, let me put it that way. And it's not the case for them. Like, not only are the breaths at the right point, which is important, which indicates they're singing, because sometimes you can pre-record breaths as well, because if you just pre-record someone singing live and then overdub it over what they're doing on stage, yeah, okay, you get, you get what I'm saying. Sometimes the breaths ain't in the right place. I'll, I'll put it that way. The breaths are in the right place, the right amount of time, the right intensity, and they're they're not in the right key, which is important. They're just breaths, which is how I know that they're like. Does that make sense? I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense to, to people who aren't wired with the weird brain that I have. Moon Buell is like wrecking me right now, it's completely throwing me off everything that I'm trying to think mentally, but it's 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 very interesting to watch. And, uh, well, the other three are, are disgustingly talented, so, you know, no complaints so far. Let's get it. Correct. Correct, audience. Good job. Good reaction there. Sometimes audience would be lame. They don't be having the right energy for the moment, you feel me? Because it'd be crazy, and everybody would be like, oh, cool. Like, no. You're supposed to be wet right now. Like, you're supposed to be dripping. All these people don't need to change their clothes after this. That was amazing. That was amazing. I don't care what you think. That was amazing. I didn't go back far enough. I didn't go back far enough. We're going back some more. I don't care. So I'm not tripping. That's an M, right? Up here. This is, cause I this this just looks like their concert, to be honest. Like I didn't just, I know this is supposed to be like some some TV show or something. This just looks like a Mamamoo concert. It's just, like, let's be honest. Also, this sounds super familiar. That melodic line. I don't I don't know what song this is. Actually, I might know what song this is. Let me let me not. Cause five seconds. I'm like, oh, I know the song. You know, I'm gonna be looking like a liar. But um, I don't. I may not know what the song is. At this moment, I don't know what this song is, but that sounds super familiar. So maybe 
a song that I know sampled that, or this samples a song that I know, or, yeah. Everything about this song screams 90s, and I feel like the song that I think that this is, is, is also from the 90s. And I say I think because I'm actually not sure what it is right now, and it's really bothering my brain. But um, if this song is a cover and it's not their song, or if it is their song and that it samples another song or is paying homage to another song, then, like, what song is it? Let me know because, um, yeah, it's, it's, going, it's going to bother me. And I don't know that it will come to me because it hasn't come to me yet. Usually these things come to me rather quickly. So, um, yeah. Okay, this also sounds familiar, and that dance looks familiar, but I, I literally cannot tell you what song this is. So I just came into this video saying that I wasn't going to elude them at any point during this video because, like, you know, kind of always be saying something. 
something. It's always something that happens that just kind of had me like, ah, damn, you know. But um, they're making it hard. They're making it very hard for me, for me right now, very hard. Not what I meant, but just kidding. Um, I like the outfits. The outfits are cool. Um, choreography is also cool. I'm going to just leave it at that because I'm going to just leave it at that. But um, me too, crowd. Me too. They're just like me. Ever since I found out that up and coming groups and trainees tend to be the background dancers for already more established and famous groups, I now pay way more attention to the background dancers. And the background dancers look like they could be a group. Like, first off, one of them has red hair. Background dancers don't have bright colored hair. That's just, just watch. They don't. That's generally not a thing because. The, the goal is not for you to draw attention to yourself. So they usually have darker, muted colors on. The hair is usually not bright and, and showy. Another one has like blonde and green hair, maybe. I don't know. They look like they could be an idol group. So if they are a group, let me know. Because like apparently that's uber common in the K-pop industry. And I just don't be knowing because... You know, I, I don't focus on the background dancers. And even if I did, I wouldn't know who they are. Hence, I'm asking. So, I'm asking. Okay, so, um, what can I say? It was great. I didn't expect it not to be great, but it was great. Uh, my favorite part about their group is the, I don't know where it is. The construction of the group from a vocal perspective was really smart. They sound very different from each other, but all of their voices are very complimentary. So even like, their harmonizing is fire. We had touched on that. But even when they're not harmonizing, when they're they're jumping back and forth, it works so well. And having people sing back to back to back does not always create a symbiotic but distinct sound. Sometimes the singers sound too similar where you can't tell who's singing. Sometimes they, they just clash. And I think that they're... They have the perfect mix of distinctness and differentness in their tones, but it's still, it just fits well together. They're like puzzle pieces that fit well together. It's not seamless because seamless would make me feel like they sound the same, but it's, 
it's I don't it just works it works it's hard to explain I don't know if you get what I'm saying hopefully that makes sense overall really dope performance dope energy I really liked when they were dancing stuff not I mean, that too but I just like high energy performances I'm a dancer so obviously I enjoy dancing and they just seem to be having more fun. Their um, interactions with the crowd and with each other were really dope. And just overall, really, really good vibes. So I enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys thought down below. This was definitely a great video to do. So thank you, Kara, for recommending me to do this video for this month's Patreon picks. And I'll be seeing all of you guys here next week. Thank you for being with me. I love you all. You guys have a great day.